What is going on my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. This is my lovely bulldog digs. Oh yeah, you're tired. Why are you tired? You were humping all the customers today. Crazy horny dog. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. What is going on? Hope you're all doing well. I have a little bit of an issue. Bwomp, bwomp. My favorite coral in the entire store decided to begin to kick the bucket. You see this right here? This is the lovely atomic bomb hammer and it's really out of this world. I mean, the color is just, I see pink, I see green, I see yellow, I see blue, orange. If you wanna call a color, uh, a color, if you wanna call a coral rainbow, I think this is one that really is getting close to deserving the term rainbow. We could call it a rainbow hammer, but maybe you know that I'm trying to move away from that term rainbow. I find that a lot of retailers that sell corals, actually, hello, welcome. If you're new to the channel, this is a, what is this? This is a vlog, this is a television show that follows our um, coral store here in Toronto. And the word rainbow, I think, just gets tossed around a lot by retailers. So this would be called rainbow. This would be called rainbow. This might be called rainbow, even though it's only showing off one color. It's just green, really nice green. Sorry to insult you on camera in front of our 26,000 subscribers, but you're just green, you're not rainbow. But I just find that a lot of retailers use the word rainbow and ultra, and it, it's just kind of been, I'm gonna say it, oh, kids cover your ears, hoard out. It just, it, just, it just doesn't count anymore. But that one over there, the atomic bomb, my favorite, I think, yeah, I'm going to say it. That's my, was, still is, I still love you, even though you're hurting my feelings. My favorite coral in the whole store. It was here in my display tank. And why did it lose a head? Hmm, this is a question we get very often from people. So we answer a lot of questions here at Fragbox. And a very common one is why is my hammer coral dying, which I can link a video um, below. I've done lots of videos on that, frog spawn. And torch, that's the other one, torch coral, very much uh, people have trouble with. For this one, really, it's the flow. Oh man, hello, sidetrack of the day. Look at my Christmas tree worm rocks. Ah, Christmas worm tree rocks? I don't know, I'm screwing it up, but look how nice they look. Why was this hammer coral suffering when everything else seemingly doing well? The reason why I'm gonna share it with you is because I'm convinced over the past 15, 16 years of reefing is that corals have ears and they listen and they know. And when you put it out there, the energy that that's your favorite coral. That coral goes, ha ha ha, tough shit, you SOB, I'm gonna die on you. No, that's not the real reason. Um, it just happened to be my favorite piece. Magnesium, that was the problem here in this tank. Magnesium was too low. You guys have heard me say it many, many times here. I keep it very high, or at least I try to. But what happened was I went away to the other side of the world, to um, Japan and Indonesia and Taiwan. And while I was gone, the magnesium dropped to what should be a normal level. 1,250-ish, uh, which should be fine. Like if you follow recommendations from a trusted company like Red Sea, that's actually what they call for is like 1,250 to 1,300. It doesn't work for me. I'm always trying to keep it higher than that. 1,450 bare minimum for 1,450 parts per million. It got a little bit low. Maybe they're just too used to having it high, but I find that the hammers and the LPS just look really like this. Fat, puffy, happy and loving life. Like the tissue, the uh, polyps are almost falling out. Look at this weird sponge. See this purple thing here? I'll try and focus on it. This purple sponge. I probably should take it out because it looks like it's bothering the acans growing around it, but it's so freaking cool. Like it's almost a coral in its own right. Look at this piece so down here, but it's enveloping the bottom of this cool pink acan colony. So maybe I should consider, oh, look at this. I'm finding stuff today with you guys. Nice orange acan. And then what do we have here? Maybe a little manjano. Hmm, could be. Or torch coral that spawned, but I would expect to see a lot more. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked again. What am I going to do to save this hammer? My favorite piece in the store, I'm going to pray. I'm going to grab my Bible, and that's it. No, I'm going to frag it. So a hammer coral will never regrow from where it has died. So that, see this mushy, brown, non-existent piece here where there's just skeleton? It was actually looking a lot worse. I should have recorded this video two or three days ago. It looked like it was gonna kick the bucket. Everyone that's coming in the store is like, oh my God, is that only $30? And then I break their heart and tell them it's not. Um, let's see the tissue, let's see the underside. It's a little bit, mm, I'd like to see it extending down further. Mm, looks okay, you know what? I think we're gonna save this one. Um, some other news while I have you here, I'm actually gonna be taking this tank down. I've decided 
It has been a fun project. It is full and I want something new. I like, I like new. And one of the other reasons is we're selling a lot of our tanks now and I'm setting up some area there to showcase them. I've been at this location now for six and a half years and I absolutely freaking love peninsula tanks. So what is a peninsula? This where you have the tank kind of coming off the wall rather than being placed against the wall, kind of like that Red Sea Reefer there. I really like them. You get three sides. I have a view from here. You can walk right around it. It's almost like you're interacting with it, you know? And I think it's cool. Three-sided peninsula tank. It's my favorite. At the last shop, I had the exact same sort of setup, except it was six feet. In the six years that I've been here, I never sold one of these. Okay, that's a lie. I've sold one. It's a custom tank. One guy came in and saw it and was like, oh my God, I need that. It's just an unusual setup to jut off the wall. I don't think a lot of people have the space or want it like this. So I'm going to do something that's a little bit more relatable, something that I can sell. It's going to go from there to there. It's not going to be as big. It's going to be a lot smaller, but it's going to be something that you know, if somebody comes in and sees, they can just say, oh my God, I want to take this home and then I have it here on hand and I can sell a stand and a tank. Um, so it's just going to be something a little bit more practical. Maybe it's kind of boring to hear that, but because we're so tight on space here in the store, I do have to think about things like that. It has been a lot of fun. I've actually had two peninsulas before we did a big renovation here in the store. So the tanks used to run this way and there's actually a washroom there and I had a very similar one. I'm like just drawn to these peninsula style tanks. The last three big displays that I've done in a store have been exactly like this. They've just been getting a little bit smaller and they don't sell. People do not do not ask for them. They um very rare. I think I like if my memory serves me we sold one. Just one to one guy in six years. That's not really good. Just for reference, um, I sold three reefers this week. Two 250s and one 350 loaded with lights and skimmers and all this stuff. So in one week, those three Red Sea reefers probably generated somewhere between fifteen dollars and $20,000 in sales. That's not take home. That's total revenue for that setup. So imagine that's just a one week. I, I cannot count how many Red Sea Aquariums I've sold over the past um, 10 years in business. Like, if I had to estimate, one a week, so that's four months, so that's 56 a year, maybe a little less than that, call it 50. So 50 Red Sea Reefers a year. We've been at this location for six years. That's a lot of Red Sea Reefers. Uh, well over 250, 300, not even one. 300, not even one. We've been selling these for six months and we've gone through 140 of them in six months. Not even one. 300 in the hundreds of thousands of sales. 140-ish in six months, zero. So that, that is definitely part of the reason. It's also full, like this thing is is packed. I'm at the point where I'm just constantly, I love how I'm just rationalizing all my ideas to nobody. Like, I don't know who's watching this, but I like to do this. Help, it helps me, you know, get through it and think out loud. Um, there's a lot of coral warfare. Like this is not normal. After seeing corals out in the wild in other, like the oceans, you do not find them like this, this many species jam packed. I'm looking for trouble. I can see issues happening as we speak with this beautiful Favia butting up against the chalice that he's stinging back there. The alvey that's about to get clobbered. I, th I think it's just time. The tank is uh, recovered nicely from the big debacle. I love the aquarium, but it's never ending and it's always changing here in the store. So I think it'll be fun to slowly part it out. And then, you know what that means? Content, which is king. It means I get to do a whole new setup and walk you guys through it. Maybe show you how to start a really cool all-in-one reef tank from beginning to end. Maybe do a weekly update, you know, like a Friday. Um, vlog it. It'll be fun. And I really, really want to try out the new, I've done a review on it, the Aqua Illumination Blades, um, which we don't have yet here in Canada. I would love to get my hands on some. I got just the one that I bought from BRS, like full retail. I didn't even get a wholesale discount on it just so that I could do a video review. And I was so freaking impressed with this little stupid strip light. I'm going to be using it, I think, unless you can convince me otherwise in the comments, I'm going to be using the AI 
uh, it's short for aqua illumination blade across the top for whatever little tank is going to replace this one. I realized that this video started out talking about a dying hammer coral and then ended with me asking for help on light selection on a new build, but that is how it goes here because this channel is very much unscripted and unedited. Whatever comes out of my mouth goes in your ears and you keep listening if you please. And if you don't, there's a little X on the top right corner of your browser or your phone and then you can stop listening. But if you're not tired of listening, hit the subscribe button on the bottom. I think it's down here, ding -a ling -a ling and you'll get notified when we do this again. We're gonna wrap up today's video. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys back here soon. Say goodbye, Mr. Bengai Cardinal. Au revoir. Adios. Buenas noches. Salamat pagi. Bye everyone.